soul shall be mine. I will fight with honor. Really good anti aggro hand. Come on, Bizu! Bizu! Nah, too bad. Do I want to play bomber or just guy? This deck isn't very aggressive. I'll just make guys. Hence the namesake of the deck. The guy killer. This kills the guys. Follow the rules. I do have a humility for the next one, so that's fine. Follow the rules. The battle. The battle. I do really like this deck, um, though it may not be the strongest one. I think it's solid enough and it fits my playstyle so well that I'll make it work. I mean, I'm not even sure. It could be the strongest one. I'm not on some glory crusade to try to bring Paladin to the spotlight. I'm just trying to find the best deck. Like this matchup against uh, Hemlock is actually pretty good. As we see. One mana removal, bam! Easy quality, eh, optional, I guess. Siphon Soul was discarded. What card would I use to replace Thanos and Hemlock? Perhaps uh, Sunwalker? Alright, got equality. Do I want to use it with the Pyro or with the Consecration? Considering I have very little on my side. Oh, actually. Equality Bomber? And then into Consecration mm. if it fails. Wait, that has the problem of possibly killing my Harvest Golem. It was worth a try. If I had hit the 8-1, then I wouldn't have to use Consecration. Truth is my shame. One nice thing is that uh, he has burned both of the Siphon Souls. However, he probably still has some owls lying around. Uh, he also has got Facelesses. Getting a guy is a bit useful. Tips the scales. Hit Pyro Hammer. Pyro Consecration will deal 4 damage to all enemies. And then Hammer will deal 5 to all enemies. But I only need to deal 2 to this one. Well, that would mean 2 spells. Or, alternatively. I wonder. So basically, that's going to be a 4 2, that's a 4 5. Pyro Consecration. It's not going to work. Hammer. I must move quickly. Tyrion Ford Ring, I guess. We're getting to the point where things could be incredibly disastrous. If I don't see a better play.
I'm looking to draw equality because the Molten Giants are going to come out soon. Probably this turn. There's quite a few things that can go wrong. I'm hoping they don't go wrong. I'm scared of Faceless, I'm scared of Molten Giants, so I'm scared of... Possibilities. Quite a few things. Okay, so Soulfire discarded Power Overwhelming. That's a good sign. Maybe he had lethal? Hmm. Alright, hit. Uh, Taz Dingle will save me from the chargey things. I hammer this and then I get a guy. That's very good. He probably doesn't have Molten Giants based on his play there. Holy Light might be better than a guy. How daring do I want to be? What's the worst he could have? He's used the Soul Fire. Um, Leroy, you can't kill a 5 health guy. Let me it's one of these situations where I don't think that I can die behind Taz Dingo, but it's really greedy to make a guy instead of Holy Light. But the guy could actually be a big deal. 5, 8, 9... Let me I mean, think. Here's the theory, because he's at an even amount of health, the guy is not actually going to matter too much. Uh, because I don't need the one extra damage should Taz Dingo be around. Also with the Pyromancer, uh, my guy could just die from friendly fire. I need equality. That's going to be six, uh, three to each. That's no good. I probably play Sunwalker to block. He's uh, got two Siphon Souls. Both have been used. Seen a Shadow Flame. Don't think I've seen a Hellfire. But yes, the taunts are good here. I did do Consecration, and then that is possible. I think I'd rather leave that at full health. I don't believe he's cast faceless yet. Okay, so I'll go up to 10, which is one less than lethal. Uh, though I think he's got Hellfire. Yep, no other choice here. Darn. I mean, I wasn't really looking for anything. Too bad. I bring life. Oh, I'm not done. Oh my gosh, equality! Equality! Oh! Ah, okay. Well played. Crumble. Let me attack that minion with taunt. So. I must protect the one. I will fight with honor. I'll hold that against Druid, I guess. What do I think of putting Big Game Hunter in this deck? Uh, I don't think there are enough targets. Even though, obviously, I was just against a deck with targets. You've got the quality, or you've got the hard removal, you've got the peacekeepers and the humility. They all kind of same serve the same purpose as BGH. And one could argue you the uh, matchup against Handlock is good enough that you don't need it. No, I just lost it, but they have it. Losses. Looks like he's the token type, too. 
Did I go into more detail on why Tempo Warrior is not good at the moment? Okay, um, it's bad against Zoo, which you see sometimes, depending on your level. It's, uh, not great against Druid. It seems like anything it can do, Tempo Rogue does mostly better. That's my main arguments against it, but I'm not going to just dismiss it and say it's a bad deck. Could, uh, see some play. That much. Job's done. It's not that clear cut. Deck idea for mage, a deck full of all plus spell damage cards. Hey, hey you might like to class. see Total Biscuits' recent spell damage gimmick video, where that concept is explored in Rogue. the equality on there just because I have another. Normally I'd be a bit more um, conservative with that, especially since I'm only killing one thing with high health. But I've got another combo, and he's almost out of cards. And he's the more aggressive type. Where shall I strike? Alright, so I have to watch out that he put me below 14. One option is Sunwalker. Uh, one option is Guardian of Kings. I'll go up to 19, which is in combo range, unfortunately. So that's out of the question. One option is True Silver, Heal Myself. I would go down to 11 and then up to 17. Let that would work. Think. That's not a bad option. One option is Sunwalker. Blocks his guy. Uh, in the case of the combo, he'll need to use this one and this one. So that's only 4, 8, 12 damage coming in money. So that's an option. Alright. These two cards weren't touched, and this card wasn't played either. And he had 9 mana and he only cast this, so I should assume he's got the combo. Okay, so he can do a total of 18 damage while this is on the board. And Tyrion Ford Ring. Not bad. For justice. It could also be keeping a keeper. I mean, that's perhaps more likely. Perhaps I should bait it out with this first. No, if he's got a keeper, then let him play it. Put your faith in the light. None shall Black Knight. Defender of Argus. Oh, that is an excellent draw. Uh, I think without that, this turn becomes very difficult because it. This plays around the combo, pretty much. I mean, I would have to think these two cards in particular were the combo, but I think that could be possible. Can you make a Miracle Rogue without Leroy? Probably not, but you can look into Free Gold's Wisp deck. It's posted on Reddit. That one still has Leroy, but it's less reliant on it. Alright, from here on out, it's just easy cleanup. For justice. <laughs> the scariest turns were dodged, if I even needed to dodge them. Those two cards turned out to be the combo. But she has to use desperately clear. Alright. I'm gonna twist the knife. He's like, screw this guy. Call it an OP. Follow 
Well played. What makes this Paladin deck so strong and viable? Um, I can see. It's hard to answer that. It's the same reason that makes Druid strong and viable. It doesn't have any terrible matchups and it doesn't have any great matchups. It's just a deck. It's got solid cards, it's got strong cards, the hero ability is really good, it's so difficult to describe. It has many tools, and it has something against most of the popular decks in the meta right now. For Doomhammer, I will fight with honor. That's pretty good to just say it's a value deck, and try to get value out of it. It's a very interesting, <laughs> it looks like an arena hand, and if I were playing arena I'd be like, oh, this hand's pretty good. Although in arena I would probably coin out the bomber. No, I might even keep the bomber around because of backlight of pain. I might coin out a guy in arena. No, because I want to keep it to activate pyromancer on the acolyte. Interesting. Greetings, friend. Well met. Reporting for duty. Man, guy versus total fight. Let the, the battle speak to me. This is the best way to learn how to play Miracle Rogue. Watch a Miracle Rogue player and see whether or not you would make the same plays. You could watch me watching a Miracle Rogue player and seeing if I make this, you would make the same plays as I would make as he would make. It's in the VOD somewhere. Or just practice. Ah, oh, Quali Bears. Welcome to Valley Town. Mate. This game is getting a lot of red tape. He's just got answers, but no threats. So I can enjoy, uh, Continuing my value train of guys. Guys are really good against uh, Shaman since they have no one damage removal. The battle for just Look at how handy that guy was. What cards did I take out that fit the bomber and why? I took out Elven Archer for a bad bomber. They serve much the same purpose, but this one is a bigger card than an archer. I took out a knife juggler for a bomber. Uh, this one's like a knife juggler, but it works independently, but slightly more random. Mm -hmm. And I put an acolyte for Defender of Argus since I think the deck has enough taunts. And Mad Bomber Eldor Peacekeeper in order to save some health. Is that worth it here? Or I could simply uh, coin out something huge, but I need to drag out some hexes first. I'm feeling Let very comfortable think. this game. Alright. Follow the rule. For justice. This wasn't necessary, but. The battle. I'll do it anyways. Get the true silver out, since I don't plan on playing Tyrion Ford Ring for some time. Although I did miss out on a guy. Eh, alright. Pay attention, class. I am ready to learn. Damn it! 
eight. Oh man, here we go. Wait, wait, three. Let the pain speak to me. Do you like to play with fire? For justice. Plus this, I have enough health. I was actually gonna throw a bomber in somewhere in that line, but then I figured out something possibly better. Probably like to cycle a card and create a 3 1 pyro. That's fine. That's okay. By just making guys each turn, I should be looking pretty good. None shall die. Wow, everyone's running Black Knight these days. Black Knight hype. Okay, so I have not successfully baited out Hex. He's likely saving one. Let me think. Hmm. I guess I'll play this just for the Body consecrate, I suppose. You should certainly have strongly suspected I have that. All right, go guys. Make him desperate enough to hex a guy. Oh. The battle! The battle! The battle! I could leave that out of turn. The battle! The battle! Reporting for duty. No, my guys! for this. Four cards left in my deck. Hmm. The battle. He still has used zero hex, so one of these cards has to be hex. It's possible both are hex. It's also possible he's going to use a hex, and I'll play a Tyrion. But stats dictate one's almost certainly got to be hex. Probably has a problem using <sighs> Any card that is hex. Oh. I anticipate. Here we go, bomber. Oh, knife juggler into bomber. Into bomber. Into chaos. Chaos. Let's see. 
reporting for duty. Wow. Nice job. This time for sure. Do 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 do. Do I have another consecration in here? No. Wow, this guy. Apparently, he recognizes there's zero direct damage in here. Or he's just taking a chance. Alright, so he's out of cards. Quality, or quality pyro, of course, on this board. He's gonna kill my own stuff, but what can you do? Let me think. To play with fire. Bomberino Lisa. I'll play this guy. Oh wow, I just realized he has not played any hexes and he played all his cards. Damn it, Bomber. 